Dude, this this Reyna is getting kills running. I really liked a lot what happened there. Player standing. Give nade. One enemy remaining. Okay. <laughs> My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button, and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Hello. Hey, what's up? I'm not quite sure what to do, so... Oh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, okay. So, first of all, sorry that uh, I'm a little bit late. I got caught up cooking and I didn't eat. So, I had to, like, quickly stuff food and then turn my stream on. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, all right. Ooh, win rate, not the best. Not the best this act. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's rough. Uh, it's all good, though. It's all good. So, yeah, uh, not a good start, but you can always come back. Damage per round actually is not bad considering the win rate, right? Uh, you know, one third. I mean, I was ex like with a 37% win rate, usually all your stats just tank hard because mm -hmm. if you're not winning games, usually, you know, all the our stats are going to be a lot lower. But, you know, 130 damage per round is not that bad. No, your, your, your stats on raise are very good. Okay. What I would recommend insta lock raise. And if you can't, mm -hmm. that's when you would, you know, you play your omen. So, like, look to okay. insta lock. And if it doesn't work, that's when you would go, like, if someone in out insta locks your raise or something like that then you you would go omen uh but for the mm -hmm. most part look to just play your your race it looks like you, you do really well on her yeah I'm, I'm curious to see what's what's going on with the with the win rate but headshot percentage I mean, is a, yeah it's what's a bit that? higher in uh it, the win rate is a bit higher in eu probably because ping oh the ping ping yeah yeah headshot percentage a little bit low like 16 percent, but it's not bad for silver usually you want to aim for like 120 to 130 okay i like this better oh spike planted Oh, all good, all good. We're big chilling. Oh, he needs to sick that. For real. What? <laughs> Why did, Why did get he off? get off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was a really good. Okay, so I really liked a lot what happened there. Spike planted. Uh, okay, both side, both side. One enemy remaining. Okay, nice job. Pretty, pretty good. Spike down A. Good attempt. Last player standing. Okay, okay. Spike so I, I think just taking that gunfight is probably not the best. Like when they have guns like that, and you have like the gun disadvantage, you want to close, close the gap, right? You don't want to take long range fights. That's where like rifles come in, you know, come out superior, right? But with a Spectre, you want to kind of just play close. Maybe you play screens or something, or maybe mm -hmm. you go ramp instead of just trying to take a fight there on heaven. Go to Cubo, what's up? Okay, okay. Careful, careful with like re-peeking after they know where you're at, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um I usually what I like doing is like after my presence is known and they know where I'm at, I rather reposition in a spot where they don't know, and then I can kind of play with my team a little bit more. So if if you know that they're coming A, instead of fighting for ramp by yourself, let's try and push Last the smoke in heaven standing. onto rafters and fight with your team on site, right? Oh. Yeah. Oops, sorry. All good, all good, all good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I see. I think one problem I have is crouching. I keep doing yeah, it. a little bit of over over crouching sometimes Last when you should be bursting. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So that's one thing I'm noticing. Also, your omen baited the shit out of you guys. <laughs> He's like sitting behind the box as you're fighting someone. So, uh, yeah. So okay, over committing is is one of the big issues okay, I'm noticing right now like with with some fights. Yeah, you're you're in a really good spot. Okay, okay, it was a good try. Yeah, so that was a little bit of an overcommitment there on the Sage, right? If you are, yeah. if you're going to go for like a crouch, you're gonna have to spray, right? Like just continue holding mouse one down and spray. Or if you're gonna go for a burst, it should be, you should be strafing in between the bursts, right? So. Very good trade. Really good. 
One sec. That's bomb. My chat is like some. Latin player standing. Give nade. One enemy remaining. Okay! You're a demon! Okay! One enemy remaining. Ooh, nice. One more there. Yeah, Omen's there too. You have ults last round. Nice shot. Okay. Hey, when it matters, when it matters, you got it. You got three ults that round, that half. Oh my lord. Full tab. You're popping right now. 18 kills. Oh my god. Wow. It's okay. Oh, okay. Another thing too. Be careful of using your utility on save rounds. So I noticed like a couple save rounds. What you do is like you use your Roomba, you use satchels and stuff. Um, you almost never want to use any sort of util unless uh, other than your nade, right? On, on save round. Unless you really think you're going to win that round. Like if you get like two kills or something and it's a 5v3, that's when I'd probably start investing util. But on the save round, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. It's not worth it. Because okay. now you can't get full armor because of it, right? Yeah. Good trade. Oh! He was stuck there. Ah, uh, I think we commit to that. One enemy remaining. Okay. Yeah, so it's gun control. It's gun control over commitment. That's the biggest issues I'm noticing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So when you were shooting that omen and he was on rafter, instead of trying to get the bomb there, I probably would have tried to like commit in the smoke and try and kill that omen before he got away. You know what I mean? Okay. I have the spike. I would have planted for main there. Got him. A shot. Could be screens. Well, do we know that both were there? One enemy remaining. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nice rounds, a little scary, but very nice rounds. Yeah. This is gonna be so tough. Yeah, this is so unbelievably. I have the spike. Last player standing. Headshot. Yeah, you have time. Yeah, you can go mid. You can go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just walk. Yeah, you're chilling. Hello there. No. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I, I like that, you know, you, you had time to play with, so you didn't have to commit there. I would just have gone out because we knew that they were mid. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. it's all good. But it's pretty nice. Sorry, bro. Uh, bomb, buddy, out. Okay. Oh. Let's try. I actually like the positioning after you heard both of them. You were like, I'm going to play from screens, have a better pot spot, so I don't get traded. Okay. That's fine. I think we have Sage Rest soon. Oh, no, we don't. No. You can throw blast packs at him. Oh, fight with your Phoenix. Fight with your Phoenix here. One enemy remaining. Okay. There. Very nice. Very good round or something. Enemy's got me. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. All right, let's get it. One more round. One more round. Careful ramp. Yeah. Okay. Last 
player standing. Oh. Dude, this this Reyna is getting kills running. Okay, okay, okay. Be care be very careful with holding angles. You never want to do that. You never want to hold an angle like that. You kind of want to be like jiggling left and right, right? You want to be like stay staying moving. That's going to be tough. Okay, look be heaven. Okay. Oh. That was risky. Dude, this Reyna has been hitting running one shots the entire game. It's all good. It's all good. This was a, a very unfortunate game, but mm -hmm. I, I think if you consistent, consistently play this way, this way, it's impossible not to rank up. 32 kills. A uh, couple things. A couple things. With the whole aiming thing, and yeah, the way that you have like some gun control, right? That's like the biggest thing. Let's go over like the big things, okay, that I'm noticing. When you're peeking an angle, you never want to peek close to a wall. Sometimes I, I notice that like, you know, you, you cleared here, and then you kind of got lazy with backing up back, before baby. peeking here. And then, you know, when we saw the stage here, she kind of had the jump on you, right? Mm -hmm. And this jump is because I think you're, you're too close to the wall. But, you know, always make sure that your back is, is as far away from an angle as possible. Like, this is exactly how I'd peek up mid. First, I'd mm -hmm. walk up like this. I'd clear this angle, and then after that, we, we back up, and we jump up here, and then we go here, right? But okay, don't yeah, peek up you. here, and that, the reason why you want to be away from angles is basically because, like, if you're here, let's let's go extreme for extreme purposes, okay? If we're here and we're peeking, here. this is what we see. But our whole half yeah. of the body is sticking out. If they're here, yeah. they see us, right? Mm -hmm. Our whole entire half of the body is sticking out. Now, with the same vision, but we just back up, the exact same vision we just had was here. This yeah. is the exact same vision we had. Are we exposed from the guy over there? No. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. the further you are from an angle, the better it is, right? And for the most part, your peaks are good. You're peaking with strafe, which is very surprising, right? Like, I actually like the way that you're peaking. Gunfights. Gunfights, you do this thing where you immediately go into a crouch. You just like, regardless if your crosshair is on them, you just jump into a crouch. And sometimes you burst. You do this, you do this, where you like crouch and you burst. Uh, and the problem with bursting and crouching and standing still, you were just, you're just sitting there, right? You're just, you're stuck there. Like, it's very easy for them to hit a headshot on you. How you fix that is just, we can strafe in between those shots, right? The, the exact same firing rate, right? Nothing has changed except their movement. And that is like a really big concept that you should do anytime you decide to burst. Um, and sometimes, you know, this is a big problem where a lot of people kind of struggle with where they're like, oh, I don't know if I should be bursting. I don't know if I should be spraying. And sometimes they do like a mixture of both, right? Or they do like, you know, they, yeah, they, yeah. they panic and do both. And um, a, a good principle is just like before you even engage in the gunfights, you tell yourself, all right, I'm going to go for a burst, right? Like you should be bursting far ranges. I would never spray this long range unless I know that they're lit. Like I dinked them. That would be the only time I'd go uh -huh. for a spray. So before I even peek this angle, I tell myself, all right, I'm going to burst. I'm going to burst and strafe. Before I even do anything. So when you come into a gunfight and they're there, you know exactly how you plan on handling that gunfight. Um, and it's making these conscious decisions before you peak that's going to really make it like it's going to ingrain into your brain, right? To a point where you're going next time you handle this subconsciously, you know how you're going to handle this gunfight because you've done it so many times. That's why I'm balding.